What's up, y'all? It's Justin here again. Uh, this video is sort of spur of the moment, but uh, I was having a pretty crappy day today, so I decided to bring myself out on a little bike ride. And so today I'm going to be riding the entire uh, Western Maryland Rail Trail. Um, so it's a point to point trail. It starts here at uh, Fort Frederick State Park and goes all the way down to New Orleans, Maryland, I believe. So it's about uh, 23 and a half miles one way. So I'm just gonna make it a nice little out and back. And uh, yeah, so let's do it. All right, so I've done a little more than 10 and a half miles so far, and I made it to Hancock, Maryland. Uh, I know I did not show this uh, in my bikepacking series, but I actually stopped here in Hancock while I was bikepacking the CNO towpath because my portable pump broke, and <laughs> I had to travel about 50 miles to get to this town where there's a bike shop just over there and I was able to pick up a new pump and uh, just decided to stop here because it's a little hot. I need a little sip of water and snacking on some sunflower seeds. So I'll probably take about a five minute break and continue on. So it's been about an hour and a half. I made it to the other end of the Western Maryland Rail Trail. Turns out it was only about 22 miles, or I thought it was closer to like 23.5, 24. Uh, I'm glad that I made it to this end because I'm pretty tired and <laughs> I'm ready to turn around and start heading back. But before I do, just wanted to take a little break and I guess talk to the camera a little bit. Um, I know at the beginning of this video, I said that I was having a pretty crappy day and that's true. But uh, just to expound on that a little bit, I've actually been having a pretty crappy year um, for the last eight months or so, eight months or so. I've been struggling with uh, depression and about a week and a half ago I started seeing a psychiatrist and I was evaluated and I was diagnosed with major depressive disorder. Uh, even saying that out loud like tears me up inside and makes me want to break down. Um, it's just been hard. I've dealt with a lot in the last year and a half. Um, my life got flipped upside down as a result of the pandemic. Um, I've also suffered multiple heartbreaks, multiple disappointments, a lot of stress at work and just in life overall. and. I was just taking one punch after another and I was doing everything that I could do to just try to handle it and 
it all just became a little too overwhelming. And I just started shutting down mentally and emotionally. You know, in the last eight months, I've broken down into tears almost every single day. And a lot of the time, I'm breaking down as many as two, three, four times a day. And I just, I don't know what to do. And when I say it's hard, I mean everything is hard. Getting out of bed in the morning is hard. Brushing my teeth, taking a shower, putting clothes on, putting food in my mouth, drinking something, showing up to work, showing up for family and friends. Like every little thing takes so much energy. A lot of times I'm not fully up and dressed and fed until two o'clock in the afternoon just because it takes me that long to get up and to get going. And I may start to do one thing and then I'll just instantly become exhausted and I'll have to stop and I'll just sit for what could be hours just trying to regain a little more energy so that I can do a little more or so I can get the next thing done. And it's just, it's, it's insane. I've experienced depression before, but not to this degree. And it feels like walking into a record store and trying to find the one record that represents happiness. And all day long, I'm just flipping through records and I'm just not finding it. And that's, that's the worst feeling in the world. And I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to just be okay. And I'm not giving up as much as I want to. It's like every day I feel like nothing. I feel worthless. I try to tell myself that that's not true. I try to tell myself that I deserve peace and love and freedom and happiness and all the same things that everyone else wants, but it's like as soon as I tell myself that I deserve better, another thought instantly pops into my head. It's just like, no, that's not true. That's a lie. You deserve to be exactly where you are right now. and. I don't know how to tell myself that I deserve better and actually believe it. I don't know. I wasn't feeling good today. I wanted to go out and take a ride early this morning when it wasn't so hot, but Again, I just couldn't get my body to move. And I did at least make it out here. <laughs> In the last 22, 23 miles, I had to filter through so many negative thoughts and 
I cried in route to the point that I'm at now and I'm crying now. I'll probably cry on the way back and I'll probably cry during the hour and 15 minute drive home. <laughs> I don't know why I'm sitting here telling you this, but I guess if I'm gonna showcase myself and pieces of my life, I want to show who I actually am and the things that I'm actually experiencing. <laughs> I hope that if someone else sees this and they're experiencing their own difficult times, if you feel like you need help, ask for it. It's okay. And if you feel like the help that you're receiving isn't enough, ask for more. I had to ask for more and now I'm paying anywhere from four to 500 bucks a month to see both my psychotherapist and a psychiatrist. Sounds a little ridiculous that I have to pay that much just to save my own life basically, but Don't feel like there's something out there that's worth living for and worth sticking all this out and I want to see what it is. I, mean, I know that the only way to get there is to keep making it through one day at a time even if it feels like I'm barely making it. I'm sorry if this is too much, but this is a part of me and my story. Anyways. I'm gonna fuel up again and start this 22 mile ride back to the car. Thanks for listening. So I was wrong. It actually is about 23, 23.5 miles in length. Um, before I decided to head back, I wanted to just keep going a little further just to reach the very end. And I came to this aqueduct. And what's cool about this trail is that it parallels the CNO Canal towpath, which is right down there. Now, for those of you who might remember from a few months ago, I actually bike packed the CNO Canal towpath and the Great Allegheny Passage going from DC to Pittsburgh. And I am very much happy to be on this trail, which is nice and smooth and paved, as you can see, as opposed to that trail, which is rugged and gravelly. So, yeah, just wanted to show you this. Now I can head back. My therapist always tells me that I need to focus on finding gratitude throughout the day. And that's something I struggle with a lot. I don't know why I focus so much on the negative all the time, but uh, I guess today I'm grateful that I had the physical capability to bike 45 miles. Um, I'm grateful that 
I still have not experienced any mechanical issues with my bike in the six months that I've had it. And in those six months, I've put well over 500 miles on it already. And I haven't even experienced so much as a flat tire, let alone anything more serious than that. And lastly, I'm grateful that I get to go back home to my family. So there's my daily gratitude. Uh, thank you all for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Peace.